Hey guys, so just doing a quick little speed comparison here between these two phones. I'm gonna reboot both right now. See which one reboots faster here. And let's go. So as you can see, we have LG versus Huawei today. We have the G6 on the left and the Huawei Mate 9 here on the right. G6 has a Snapdragon 821 and the uh, Mate 9 has the Kirin 960. Both have 4 gigs of RAM. So let's just see which one reboots faster here. And it looks like the G6 rebooted, but a split, like, split, split second later, the Mate 9 followed. So we'll just go to settings here real quick on both and to show you that both are on their laser, latest version of their respective user interface. So you can see here, I'm gonna check for updates and no new system update on the G6 and the same for the Mate 9. Clear that. So I'm just gonna open a bunch of apps right now, starting with messaging. Three, two, one, go. Mate 9. It's faster. Let's go to some browsing. Okay, I'm gonna do a search for Huawei Mate 9. And also both caches have been cleared. Say Mate 9 was a split second faster there. I'm going to, go to Mate 9's website right now. And I'm just looking at the blue progress bar and the Mate 9 is faster. So you can see, scroll a little bit. Scrolling is not a problem on either device. Let's see, what can we click on? Okay, we'll click on this learn more. And Mate 9 again was faster here. Scroll through it real fast. No issues there. Now we'll go to LG's website, lg.com. Go. And looking at the blue bar, Mate 9, again, was faster here. Get rid of that weird pop-up. Going through these. Not a problem for either phone. Let's see, click on this. Okay, learn more. And again, the Mate 9 was faster. So, give the slight edge to the Mate 9 as far as the performance of the Chrome browser here. Okay, we'll leave it there. We'll go to the next app now, which is the camera. I'll do it like this. Three, two, one, go. LG was faster there. Okay, calculator. Similar on both. See here, Acrobat Reader. And Mate 9 was a split second faster on that one, Snapchat. Now G6 was slightly faster on that one. Yelp. Uh, I don't know, maybe the Mate 9 faster by a hair settings. Give the slight edge to the Mate 9 there maybe. The Play Store. And both are about the same. I'm going to click on this game. Okay, we'll just leave it there. YouTube, slightly faster than G, a lot faster than G6. Click on this ad, and we'll leave it there. Okay, now to some games. Mario Run. And slightly faster on the on the Mate 9. And yeah, what is the Mate 9 doing? Well, we'll just have to begin. Okay, we'll just leave it there. Okay, Angry Birds. G6 is faster, followed immediately by the mate. Although both loaded the game at the same time, as you can see here. So I don't know, I guess we can call this one a draw. You guys be the judge, let me know in the comments section. 
Asphalt 8. Okay, I think the Mate 9 is slightly ahead here, and it is ahead, okay. So Mate 9 faster here, followed by the G6. Subway Surf. And the Mate 9 is faster here. Tap to play a little bit. We'll stop the game. And finally, one more game, Temple Run 2. And the Mate 9 jumped to a slight lead here. Oh, no, a big lead. Play a little bit. Stop the game. Wow. Yeah, the main is much faster in this game. All right. So let's take a look at the RAM management here. Messaging. No reloads. Chrome browser. No reloads. Camera. Very nice. Calculator. There you go, Adobe, and ooh, I think that was a reload on the main 9, so Advantage LG, Snapchat, hmm, I wasn't sure, I wasn't too sure about that one, yup, and both refreshed, settings, okay, both about the same, and I think we had a little refresh on the LG here. Okay. And what's going on with the Mate 9? Wow, okay. Mario Run. And we have a completely ref we have a complete reload of the game here on the Mate. Angry Birds. And we another again a reload on the Mate 9. Wow, okay. Oh, Huawei. Asphalt 8. Wow. And the mate nine again. What's going on to the not very good day for the mate today? Subway Surf. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The mate nine is just reloading games now. Wow. And I kept Temple Run in memory, and I believe that's the last game or the last app. Yes. We're back to the messaging. All right. So there you have it. Um, so what can I take from this? Well. The LG's RAM management uh, is pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. If you've seen my other videos, uh, my other speed test videos with the LG G6 versus whatever phone, the RAM management on the LG is done here is not too bad. Uh, the Mate 9, on the other hand, as you just saw, we did reload some games. So, yeah. So maybe Huawei, the Mate 9 here, needs a little bit of work as far as RAM management is concerned. But overall, this phone is excellent. I do like the Mate 9. Um, I think it's fast. And at 600 bucks, it's not a bad phone. It's a pretty good phone. I will give the screen uh, the edge to... I don't know, actually. They're both about the same to me, actually. Maybe uh, the viewing angles are slightly better on the LG G6. But the Mate 9 is 5.9 inches. And it's a beautiful display in its own right, too. So, yeah. Looks-wise, I mean, obviously the LG G6... You know, there's still a little bit of bezel here, but it's mostly a uh, screen, which is nice. And the Huawei Mate 9, although its bezels are a little bit chunkier, uh, it looks pretty good in its own right, too. You know, I don't know what the percentage is, you know, but the screen to body ratio on the Mate 9, you know, it's respectable in its own right, too. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this, if you're going to cop a G6 or if you have a Mate 9 or if you're looking for one phone or the other here. So, yeah. Just hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.